probably spent a little bit more money on on the roads for sure. They're a little bit a little bit rough at times, so. Yeah, more than a little. For years, Arizona's roads have needed attention with nearly 3,200 miles of highways considered in poor condition. The state is expected to receive $7.3 billion from the bipartisan infrastructure bill passed last month with the majority of those dollars going toward highways and bridges. But as Team 12's Josh Sanders shows us, repairs aren't expected to happen overnight. Has your car ever experienced a pothole or asphalt or anything like that? Or? Uh, yeah, 100% on the freeway as well when you're going kind of fast and that's <laughs> sketchy. A cracked windshield or blown tire can be a real pain and dangerous, especially around the valley. Phoenix is growing so much. Maricopa County is the fastest growing county in the U.S., seeing its population jump by nearly 87,000 people just last year, nearly 300 people moving to the metro area every day. Jeremy Latham has been in the valley for two years years and is excited to see how the $1 trillion bipartisan infrastructure bill will impact Arizona highways. We're heavily relying on driving here. The state is expected to receive $7.3 billion with $5.3 billion allocated for highways and bridges over the next five years. The Arizona Department of Transportation says it's too soon to discuss the impacts of those dollars and says they are currently managing pavement conditions, but that also takes time. The department is currently using a pavement treatment known as diamond grinding on some valley highways, which is faster, cost-effective, and better for the environment. $884 million will go to public transportation like Valley Metro, which could give drivers another option to reduce traffic, one Jeremy says he'd take advantage of. Better infrastructure for, the, for light rail and stuff for sure, to just for people to get around and not be relying on driving. Josh Sanders, 12 News.